Hello, and welcome to the Gerard Manley Hopkins podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce myself and explain the format of the podcast. It's important that you hear about how these recordings were made, because they were not originally intended for a podcast. I'll explain all in a moment. My name is Lance Pearson. I'm an English actor and professional reader of poetry. Since the late 90s, my acting career has been built around a series of one-man shows. I am a Christian and performed many entertainments for churches and other groups, but I was also keen to create entertainments around other topics that I'm passionate about. In the mid-2000s, I created a series of biographical shows about five English Christian poets, George Herbert, John Milton, William Cooper, John Betjeman, and, well, who should be the fifth? I knew a lot of people raved about Gerard Manley Hopkins, but I had never read him beyond one or two really famous poems, like God's Grandeur. I decided to investigate, and rapidly became completely hooked. So he was my specialist poet, for the year 2007. In each show, I aimed to explain the poet's life story, illustrated by readings of their poetry. My show about Hopkins was called The Grandeur of God, named after that famous poem. In September of 2007, I performed this show for the London Institute of Contemporary Christianity. They were kind enough to record it, and the audio from that night will make up episodes 2 to 16 of this podcast. So that's why you can occasionally hear an audience and the rustling of my script on those tracks. Each episode will feature my introduction and explanation of a poem and where it fits into Gerard's life, followed, of course, by a reading of the poem itself. Except for God's grandeur, in track two, where the poem comes first. If you decide to binge listen to these episodes, you'll get a sense of the show as a whole. I divide it into two halves. The second half begins with the longer poem, The Wreck of the Deutschland. You'll also hear references to a booklet or programme and a screen with images. On the night itself, I had PowerPoint up so the audience could see images connected with the poems, and I gave them a printed programme with all the words of the poems and footnotes to explain the more complicated words. If you'd like to get a PDF copy of this programme, I'll give instructions at the end of this episode. Those first 16 tracks feature many of Hopkins' most famous poems, including as well as the two I've mentioned, The Wind Hover, Spring, and Pied Beauty. By 2017, I decided to make a second recording of Hopkins' less famous poems, entitled What I Do Is Me, which is a quote from his wonderful poem included on it, which begins, As Kingfishers Catch Fire. The audio recording makes up tracks 17 to 35, again with introduction, explanation, and then the poem. With the freedom of a studio recording, I also added music and sound effects to those tracks. I do hope you enjoy the podcast. I'd love to hear your feedback. Email me at lance at lancepearson.org. The Pearson bit is a funny spelling. It's P-I-E-R-S-O-N. And if you do enjoy it, then I'd be very grateful if you could rate the show in iTunes to help others find it. If you live in the UK and would like to find out about the Hopkins Society, of which I'm a member, then go to hopkinssociety.co.uk for more information. Finally, If you'd like to follow along with the words of the poems and see the footnotes, then go to lancepearson.org slash recordings.php. You can then scroll down and find both of the Hopkins recordings and download the booklets from there.